How do you convert and compare units of measurement in the metric system? In this lesson, you will learn the different units of measurement in the metric system and how to convert from one to another. So first, some vocabulary. In the metric system, unlike in the customary system, the meters Liters and grams are what are being used for measurement. Meter is the base unit of measurement for length. Liter is the base unit of measurement for capacity. And a gram is the base unit of measurement for weight. Unlike in the customary system where there are different values, the metric system uses values of base 10. And so each value is going to be 10 times bigger than the value before it and we'll see how that works as we look at the next table. So here's a table showing the metric units of measurement. We'll see that the base unit is equal to one, and that's meters, liters, and grams. Like I said before, the metric system uses powers of 10, so every unit is about 10 times bigger or smaller than the unit before it. So a deca is 10 times bigger than the original base unit. You'll notice that in the metric unit of measurement, there are different prefixes attached to each of these base units. So for, for measuring something like length, we will always use meters, and we're going to attach a prefix to that. That prefix will tell us exactly how many meters it would be. So a decameter is going to be is going to be 10 times bigger than an original liter, meter. A hectometer is 10 times bigger than a decameter and it is 100 times bigger than the original meter. Similarly, a kilometer is a thousand times bigger than a meter. Right? Another power of 10 here. And a centimeter is 100 times smaller than a meter. And that goes the same with liters and grams. So essentially, with the metric unit of measurement, when you go left, it's going to grow by powers of 10. So for every unit that you go left from your original unit, it's going to be 10 times bigger. Every unit that you go right is going to be 10 times smaller. Okay. A decimeter is to the right of a meter. It is 10 times smaller than a meter. A centiliter is going to be 100 times smaller than a liter because it's two spaces over and so on and so forth. So let's see how that works in a problem. This problem says that using a map, Alex estimates the distance between his house and his grandparents' house to be about 15,000 meters. About how many kilometers away from his grandparents' house does Alex live? Best way for us to do that, let's pull up our table again. And we'll see that we originally have 15,000 meters and we're trying to change to kilometers. So here's our meters, here's our kilometers. We know that in this table, the biggest are on this size, on this side, the left side, and the smallest are on this side. Now I want to figure out, well, how many times bigger is a kilometer than a meter? Okay. So we go with powers of 10. Here's one that's 10 times bigger. Going two makes it 100 times bigger. Right, 10 times 10, and going 3 over to kilometers makes it a 1,000 times bigger. Okay, so a kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. It's about a 1,000 times bigger than 1 meter, or we need 1,000 meters to make 1 kilometer. Okay. Well, how do we use it to solve our problem? Well, based on what we know, A thousand meters 
is equal to one kilometer, so they're 1,000 meters per kilometer. We are changing from meters to kilometers. A meter is smaller than a kilometer. So we are going from smaller to bigger. When we go from smaller to bigger, we're going to divide. What do we divide? Well, we take 15,000 and divide that by 1,000. If we were to do the division really quickly, do 15,000 divided by 1,000. One goes into one once. Okay, so 1,000 times one. And that gives us a difference of Five hundred. Bring that down one more. Bring that zero down, and now we have five thousand divided by one thousand. That goes into it five times. One thousand times five is five thousand. And I ran out of space, but they cancel each other out. We're left with the remainder of zero. So, how many kilometers away from his grandparents' house does Alex live? He lives fifteen kilometers away. All right. So we have this problem that says that Jamie made a bracelet that's 1.8 decimeters long. How many millimeters long is Jamie's bracelet? At this point in time, pause the video, solve it for yourself, and then resume to check your answer. I've given you the table down below to kind of figure out exactly what the relationship between decimeters and millimeters is. Okay, now let's solve that. So we see that a bracelet is 1.8 decimeters long. We're changing it to millimeters, so here we are, decimeters and millimeters. Let's see, we know that every unit is 10 times bigger or smaller than the unit before it. We're going from big, or sorry, we're going from smaller here to big, and we're moving in this direction. So we're changing from a decimeter to a centimeter, and then to a millimeter here. It's going by powers of 10, so a decimeter is 10 times bigger than a centimeter, and a decimeter is 100 times bigger than a milliliter. Millimeter. So we're converting by a factor of 100. All right, now let's solve this. So we're converting with a factor of 100. That means that a millimeter is 100 times smaller than a decimeter. We're changing from decimeters to millimeters. So we're going from big to small, which means we're going to have to multiply. So we'll take our original number, 1.8, multiply that by how many times bigger it is, 100 times bigger. So 100 millimeters is going to make one decimeter. And we're going to find our answer. Let's get a little bit more space here. Set up the standard algorithm. 100 times 1.8. And again, keep in mind this decimal here. We'll use that later. 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 1 is 8. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. And of course, I forgot to add that extra 0 in there because we finished up with that place value. So that's going to add up to 1,800 or 1,800, but we still have that decimal here. right? And the other decimal would be right here. So the sum of all the decimals that are shifted over is just 1, so we're going to shift over just one decimal point from the right. So we'll stick a decimal point, and I'll use a different color here, so you can see it. We'll stick that decimal point here, and so instead of 1800, we stick a decimal point, one point from the left, from the right, and we're left with 180. 
So how many millimeters long is Jamie's bracelet? It's 180 millimeters. Today, you have learned how to convert units in the metric system.